What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of Adventure Quest News. Today, we're back in Adventure Quest. We have some TLAPD news, a new class, a limited quantity shop, and a bunch of other stuff coming up after the intro in three, two, one. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Welcome back. So I saved the best three stories for last. So if you watch to the end, that's definitely my favorite three, um, three different pieces of news are at the end of the video. So moving on to the first piece, this is actually pretty interesting also. So you got to hook them in with the LQS, uh, not a normal Luna Corny shop. Uh, that's what LQS stands for. Sometimes people ask me that. We have a very special one today, or not today, this is actually a going live on Friday, this Friday, I think. Uh, it'll probably say at the bottom, restock schedules, so we have 3 p.m. Friday is the first one. Actually, I think on Twitter it said 11, uh, 11 a.m. was the restock, the first restock. Uh, this is on the latest Twitter if you want to go check the actual restock. Uh, I'm just going to show you the... Uh, different packages that are available. So we have one for gold here for 50,000 gold uh, for all players. Uh, and that's the data elemental. I remember when the set came out, there's so many of them that uh, you could get them. They, you didn't have to wait for restocks. Like even I think after the, I think the first one might have sold out. The second one, like they never ran out of stock after the first one sell out. So there's 15,000 of these available. So there's a high chance of you getting one if you want the data elemental. I think that also gives you a badge in the game. So even if you uh, don't want the item, because it's not really that good of an item, it's just a pet and an axe, and neither of them look particularly that nice. But if you want the badge, you can pay 50,000 gold, get a badge there. Uh, same deal with this one, uh, there's 25,000 gold for 5,000 available, there's a less chance of you getting this one. Uh, but it has like three weapons and uh, that pet. And a badge for your character page. So you're basically paying the 25k for the badge. I doubt you'll ever use any of those weapons. Yeah, maybe if you're doing like a frost thing set or something like that. Uh, moving up, uh, some, some cooler stuff. We got the. Uh, I've never seen this set in the game before. It looks very cool. I like the set. It is a thousand adventure quests. Pretty cheap for that set. Um, the armor and helmet look pretty nice. Not, not so much a weapon. Um, there's a thousand of those available. Or almost a thousand, one hundred of those available. A thousand adventure quests for Bright Fortress. You could get this for gold if you remember when it first came out. So I'm guessing that's why this there's still availability on this uh, AC version because you could buy the same thing for gold. It might be a little bit different. I doubt it though. I think I have this house in my uh, buyback shop. I can get it. Um, we have the Ice Realm Portal. There's a thousand available for a thousand ACs. Very cool looking and someone's calling my house. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Alright, so the Ice Realm Portal, very, very nice looking house. If you want that, and if you want a snowflake for a house, you can get that. Thousand of them available, thousand ACs. Now we're getting into the smaller quantities. The 500 available for 2,000 adventure coins for the Ice Fortress house set. I don't know, that comes with some rep boost, some XP boost, a house, maybe some house site. I don't know, I've never, I've never seen that house in game before. It's very cool, it's only 500 available, so. If you want that, you gotta be fast. Uh, the Dread Leopard Griffin. Sorry, I just ran down, up and down the stairs real fast. <laughs> the Dread Re Leopard Griffin is available. 5,000 available for uh, Legends. Um, 150,000? Yeah, 150,000 gold for that. I might not even have that, so I might pick that up. Um, by the way, uh, when it says AQW Legends only, um, there's a difference between Legend and Member. And Adventure Quest World, I figured this out. I think I figured this out. Um, if you look at the very bottom of this webpage, they explain it here. So, uh, the legend items only. Uh, the member items is available for purchase by any account that has ever purchased an AQW membership, even if their current membership has expired. So, if you purchased a membership in the past, uh, you can still purchase these member only, or the member items here. Not member only, but the legend items here. Um, so you can pick this up even if you don't have an active membership, if you had a previously active membership that isn't active anymore. Um, you can also get it for 1,000 ACs if you want to, where there's 1,600 of those available. Highly recommend trying to get one of those first because gold is worth a lot less than ACs. Uh, the Bright Pal Paladin Griffin is available. Alright, well, I'm just 
all right, there's a bunch of griffins available. I, I'm spending way too much time on this one uh, news topic. We have a bunch more to go through. I don't want to bore you guys. Uh, Glacial Commander armor set. You got the Dage Frostfell armor set. I like the Dage Frostfell one. That looks pretty nice, actually. Um, you got the Dage Dread uh, space package. I don't know what's a, I don't, it, I think it's that set. I don't, no wonder it didn't sell out. Um, the Nogath Void Rider package, that was available for a uh, gold, that's why this one didn't sell out. Um, and then we've got the most recent Ancient Crypt Keeper um, sets that are available for that. Let's move on to your next story. All right, so another armor for the TLAPD. I think we have another armor that might be related to TLAPD, maybe not, but this is a very nice armor. Uh, it's made by Lakin. And yeah, this should be in, eh, might not be. It's it's not 100% confirmed, as Elena likes to, uh, likes to point out. Uh, nothing is, of course, well, at the quality shop's 100% confirmed, but some of the things I talk about in these news videos aren't 100% confirmed, so uh, take them as you will. Oh, oh now we're gonna quick fire through a few of the this Friday's events. So we're going to Castle of Glass. Um, here's some art from the Castle of Glass from J6. It looks very nice. Um, some stained glass. Looks very cool. I like the uh, the room, the design. It looks very nice. Uh, and now we're getting to the last three, the three juiciest things I found on Twitter uh, that I could talk about in this video. So, first one. Boom. It's soon September. Working on a female version. I don't know what it's soon September means. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be September soon, but uh, maybe this is coming out in September, finally, finally? Uh, it's this confirmed name is Evolved Lightcaster. Uh, looks very nice. I miss the original Lightcaster. I actually think the Evolved one looks a teeny bit better. Um, so I definitely wanna get this armor when it comes out. Hopefully it's available for a season on LQS. I would suck if it was LQS and I didn't get it. Um, but that should be available in September. That's not, confirmed don't come at me with when's it available Corey? at september where's the armor not confirmed but he is working on it and he's doing polls and stuff on twitter and these are recent as of uh, august 22nd which i think is like yesterday so or the day before yesterday so very very cool stuff evolve white caster should be coming soon Whew. a tweet from swiggity swiggity <laughs> fontana in uh yolgar Wearing the Scarlet Sorceress all class uh, rank 10. So this class will be the class. It's already been confirmed on the design notes, I think, or on Twitter. Uh, it was confirmed somewhere. And maybe not 100% confirmed, but it was pretty much 100% confirmed uh, that this is a class that's coming out this Friday. So the Scarlet Sorceress, I'm guessing it's going to be like a mage style class. Should be very cool. Can't wait to get the class. And uh, like like you should know they've been releasing classes for every second event in the uh, what's the event called the tower of something uh what's the event what's the, I, someone knows the name of the current event but the current event the something of something throne of darkness yes that's it that's that sounds that sounds right so they've been doing a class for every second uh tower or throne of darkness and uh this one is the next one that's coming out this friday and last Certainly not least, we have the server rewrite update down to our final four client bugs. Once these four bugs are fixed, the new server will launch. New server. New all capital, in case you thought it was an old server. <laughs> so the server rewrite, it seems like they said it was going to be finished last week. I mean, it's the middle of next week and it's not finished. So they must have ran into a snag or just overestimated how long it would take or underestimated, I mean, how long it would take. So I thought they were down to the last three bugs last time they posted on side notes. And now they have four bugs. It's, it's just a never, it's a perpetual just bug, bugginess. Okay, so four more bugs to fix. How hard can that be? It should be out sometime in the near future. I, I'm i not really too excited for it because it's really just fixing things that were broken for a long time in Adventure Quest Worlds. It's just nice that they're fixing things, you know? It's, it's good to fix your game, you know? But, I don't know. It's just very, very nice that it'll finally, finally be finished and we can finally play on the new servers. Hopefully they, hopefully they run a little bit smoother. That'd be, that would be great. So, that's it for today's video guys hopefully you enjoyed it 
If you did, drop a like down in the like button area below the video. <laughs> down there somewhere. Um, and comment down below what you're excited for. Are you going to be getting any of the limity, limited, limited, not limity, that's not a word, the limited quantity shop items? If so, which one? I'm curious to know. I think a lot of people are going to be getting the Dage Frost Fell one. Pro well, actually, that's pretty expensive. I was high, I was thinking about getting this one, but I, I wish it had the armor separate. If I had the armor separate, I would have got it, but I don't think I'll get it now. The Ice Fortress, if that was cheaper, I'd probably get because that, that is an interesting house, and you should definitely pick up these, uh, like I said earlier, because those are free, and then there's also a free one. So there's three free gold ones here. Well, that one's not free, but there's two free ones and then three for gold. So you can pick these up for gold. Oh, there's only 500 available of that. That one's actually going to probably sell out. I, I would I would predict that one's going to sell out pretty fast. And uh, this has the name Dage on it, so it might sell out. But there is 900 of them, and they are 2K AFC, so maybe not. But anyway, again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, have a great week, and I'll see you in the next one. Which I don't know when that is, but peace. Have a good day. Click the video in the top right corner if you haven't seen it yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.